Taylor was born in Shueville, Iowa, to Robert Harmon Taylor and Mary Susan Taylor. He attended Solon High School and Northwestern University, earning his Bachelor of Science degree in theater in 2000. While at Northwestern, his roommate was actor Billy Eichner. Taylor has appeared in several television series, such as The Walking Dead, Law and & Order, Law & Order, Special Victims Unit, The Good Wife and Person of Interest. He had a recurring role as Errol, the Late Show page with the fake British accent on Late Show with David Letterman. He played Abernathy Darwin Dunlap and accepted. He appeared in such independent films as Would You Rather, Cold Comes the Night, and Another Earth, the last of which won the Alfred P. Sloan Prize at the 2011 Sundance Film Festival. Taylor was featured in Spike Lee's segment Jesus Children of America of the 2005 anthology film on the theme of childhood and exploitation All the Invisible Children the House is Burning, pitch Kevin Connolly's Gardener of Eden and Assassination of a High School President. Taylor co-created and co-starred in Creation Nation, a live talk show with Billy Eichner, which they performed at the 2008 Edinburgh Festival Fringe, as well as at the HBO Aspen Comedy Festival and throughout New York City and Los Angeles. He has also appeared on stage in Neighborhood 3, Requisition of Doom, The Shooting Stage, Henry IV and No. 11 Blue and White, as well as numerous productions in Stephen Sondheim's Young Playwrights Festival at the Cherry Lane Theatre. In February 2019, it was announced that Taylor had been cast in the recurring role of Obedelheim on the second season of the Netflix thriller series E. Since 2000, Taylor has lived in Manhattan, New York, where Gotham was filmed. In a November 2014 Glamour interview, Taylor was asked, I notice you are wearing a wedding ring on your ring finger. Are you married? To which he responded, I am married. I like to keep it private, but I've been married for over three years, and we've been together for five and a half years. No kids. No kids yet. In March 2015, Slate noted Taylor in an article discussing several actors who are openly gay or who have been cast in multiple straight or bisexual roles in the typecasting of gay roles. Taylor, himself, added, I feel like the landscape has totally changed. Regardless of sexual preference, it's more that as a character actor, the less I reveal about myself, the better. My favorite actors are the ones I know least about. In April 2015, Taylor openly identified as gay on episode 672 of the Nerdist podcast with Chris Hardwick. In October 2019, in a post on his Instagram account, Taylor identified as gay and stated he had been out of the closet for 22 years.